Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to draw this shaker barn. If you'd like to draw along with me, you can find the photograph I used by clicking on the link in the description below. So, let's get started. The first step is to draw the ground which the barn will be sitting on. To make the ground look more realistic and show that nice slope, we want to give the line a shaky feel. Next we draw a simple box which frames the drawing and creates a foreground and a background. The next step is to draw the outline of the barn. A helpful tip to getting straight lines is to lock your wrist and move your entire arm while pulling the pen in a fluid motion. Drawing straight lines just takes practice. Use this same technique to map out that nice big barn door. Let's define where those wooden boards are. And finally, I'll show that central window opening. Next, we can start to draw the trees in the background. To show the profile of the trees, we make another squiggly line like we did for the ground. These squiggles start to look like the profile of the trees. By adding loads of dots, we can give the trees and bushes a simple texture. A hatching technique like this allows us to add depth to the drawing quickly. Now we can focus on the landscape in front of the barn. We'll start by drawing simple trees again using squiggly lines to represent the organic shapes of the trunks and branches. We can achieve a realistic scale in our drawings if we judge the size of things relative to the other things we draw. So as we draw the trunk of a tree, we can judge its size relative to the rough size of the barn door.
Now I'll draw that wild looking grass in front of the barn. We can represent the grass with just short straight lines. Now we can start to see the foreground appearing. Okay, let's add in some details. The barn door looks like it's got a big hole in the front, so we can show that. We can represent the texture of the door by making some simple lines. We can show the frame around the window. Now let's draw those nice wooden boards by adding some horizontal lines. These are straighter than the landscape lines that we drew before as they represent materials which have been cut into straight building components and so we represent them differently. We can give some depth to the facade of the building by adding some thicker line weight on each side.
here I'm adding in the beautiful stonework on the base of the barn. Again, we can judge the size of the stones relative to other elements in the drawing. This skill in developing proportional relationships results in some realistic scale in the drawing. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Drawings like these are really just made up of a series of different line types. So if you can learn how to draw the individual lines, you can quickly bring these together and start to create more realistic sketches. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section below.